It's that time! Hello, hello! What's going on? Hey, got the day off. So what do I do? Work. Look at that. I have been using this on stage for a long time now. No, it's it's one of the best sounding guitars I've ever heard. The clarity and the precision of the notes that you play and that you hit is just incredible. So I've become quite comfortable with this guy. With the old Cyrus. If you find that perfect Ibanex prestige yeah. okay, as a workhorse. Yeah. And um, you have to make a decision between the guitar you play now and that brilliant Ibanez. What will you choose? But you have to pick one. A prestige or this? Yeah. Um, there are a couple that have beautiful finishes and they've obviously got from the Wizard 5 to the Wizard 7 neck and whatnot. They're nice necks. Um, I had one with a, it was a wizard, the Paul, Paul Gilbert signature. I think it was a wizard three. And it was a nice guitar, but it had the floating bridge. Most of them have the Floyd Rose or some form of floating bridge, which I just can't wrap my head around. Um, I'll spend hours on the thing and I just can't get it to feel nice for longer than one day. Um, I think every guitar has a chance to become a part of your playing career. But it's, it's play it for a month, play it for two weeks, play it for one week and you the first gig always feels amazing. The second gig, you sort of feels cool. By the third, up to about a week, is when you start feeling the little details. And that's why I got rid of the uh, Paul Gilbert. I just wasn't enjoying it. Um, but if I had to choose this over a prestige, yeah. And why? Because this is a particular number of guitar with a date on it. Um, I think it's number 16 or 17, and it's on the back of the plate. You can yeah. This guitar. Whereas anyone can go by prestige, no one else will ever have this guitar. Which to me is quite nice. And I've spent the time, I've set it up, I'm happy with how it plays. It, to me, it plays the way I wanted a prestige to play. I've never owned a high end prestige but I've played a couple and they're very nice. Um, what if a prestige was given to you? If it was given to me, I would try it out and I'd probably like it. And even Elaine himself would probably comment on this saying that he would probably agree that the prestige guitars are really good. They are. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them. They're built to play, they're built to last. They're built to be shred guitars. Because I've never heard you shred before like you're on this guitar, ever, on stage. I've never seen a more versatile guitar than yeah. this one. Well, I've never played a more versatile guitar. Like it plays from Baby Just Kids to um, like the Brian May to Janis Joplin. I'm not playing Janis Joplin. You're not playing Janis for that? I only put this on after the solo and beat it. And then I play the, the rest of the whole show with it. Right, right through to I want it all to the yeah. whole second half. Okay, well, from that to even the, the African stuff like Jabulani, mm. you know, that yeah. the clarity of it. Now, would you believe me if I told you I was using or I, I'm using the same pickup in brass and pocket that I use in Jabulani? No way! <laughs> really? Yeah. I flip it here, which uses this pickup for brass and pocket. And then when I want to go to the more African stuff, I just do that. And it, it coil taps this, so it's only using half a pickup. Huh. 
that's interesting. So four jazz players, there you go. That's why it's got so many sounds, because it's got there, it's got there, and it's got there. Yeah. Then it's got oil tap, so you got to picture this as a Fender pickup now, only one of them, I'm not sure which. And then only two of them, and then only one of these two. So you're getting six different sounds out of one guitar. Okay, another question. Just say, um, Elaine, because you you like your EMG pickups. If if Elaine asks you to give the guitar back because he wants to put EMG pickups on it, would you rather have the guitar as is, or would you prefer him to take it back and put on EMG pickups? Uh, now that we're talking about the pickups. Yeah. If if Elaine was if Elaine was gonna put EMGs in this guitar, I would do a little bit more homework and find out if they make coil tappable EMGs. Because they they must. I've I've never looked further than 81, 85, 60, so I don't really know. Um but in all honesty, if you wanted to put a tappable EMG in over here, I'd be fine with it because I love this pickup. With the tap. Where it is. Yeah. Uh, I've never got a more legitimate African Billie Jean, anything acoustic sounding than, I, rock, than yeah. I can get out of this. Clean, yeah. And you know what's funny? The one thing I would have changed the first time I played this guitar was this pickup. And now that I've played the it. The irony of it. Now that I've played eh? it, I don't want him to change it. I wouldn't. I, I like this thing. It's very cool. Um, interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Just a little test to see how she plays. 